Hi ladies, it's Dawn and I wanted to make a video for you today. This video was supposed to be filmed yesterday and go up on Thursday like my second video each week typically does. But as you are probably all aware, Russia invaded the Ukraine yesterday and really upset. I was praying for some diplomacy and for Putin to not invade the Ukraine, but it did happen and I was glued to the TV yesterday. I was very upset and by the end of the day, I was honestly feeling really depressed. So I never made a video to put up for you. And um, so today I decided that I would just check the news a couple of times. I would check in later this this afternoon and see what's going on and then when my husband gets home from work he can tell me what else is going on I don't think it's healthy or good to just watch everything especially whenever you see the news they keep showing the same scenes of these explosions which I know are happening but um, it just can really toy with your psyche and so I decided just not to watch so much of that and instead pray for the people of the Ukraine and just pray for Putin to have a change of heart in what he's doing and um, for diplomacy to prevail. So having said all that, I decided to make a video today as a distraction to myself and hopefully to you and I hope I can seem upbeat and pleasant while I'm making this video. So the video I decided to make was prompted by having to take some items back to Mac. And when you take empty containers back to Mac, when you take I think six of them, you get free products and you can go through your, your empties pretty quickly with Mac. You know, if you have like little prep and prime minis or your lipsticks that you use every day, um, just anything, when you have six containers, you get a full size free product. And I had quite a few, so I took a big old bag back. And I replenished some products from Mac and they weren't necessarily makeup products, they were just, workhorse products that I use all the time. So I thought I would make a video for you sharing with you about five or six products from MAC that are like workhorse products, things I use all the time. I go through them all the time and I don't do a lot of empty videos, so I don't share them with you in that fashion. So that's why I'm making this video. And I wanted to start by saying that if you haven't tried anything from MAC, MAC is an amazing company. They have a great loyalty program. They have sales several times a year for like 25 or 30% off their product. Department stores also have very big sales with like 40% off. They have their Back to MAC program and they release limited edition products at Christmas in the springtime and in the summertime. So you can always find these really beautiful limited edition makeup products that I think are just amazing. And I'm really excited to see what they have for spring this year. So I am just gonna jump in and share with you my MAC Workhorse products and hopefully you will find a product that you haven't tried and you will share with us products that you purchase again and again from MAC down in the comment section. So let's just jump in and get started. The first product I want to share with you is one that I think we've all probably tried or heard about, but it's a confusing product and I've shared in other videos how it's meant to be used and I always have a person come on and say, I had no idea that it's meant to be used that way. And what it is, is the MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime and I have this in so many different formulas. I have the minis that I get in the summertime, especially last summer. This one is Calm. They had Lavender, Cherry Blossom, an Energizing one. I think I tried all of them between my daughters and I. I know we definitely did and they made great stocking stuffers over Christmas time. And then I have the Fix Plus. This is the Gold Light and you have to shake this one up and it has like sort of like a little little bit of a gold cast to it. So when you spray it beneath your makeup, it sort of works a little bit like the strobe cream where it gives you just this like glow and it's just really beautiful. Or you can spray it over your makeup for the same effect. And then I have the larger size Fix Plus and this one is in lavender. I don't think I currently have just the plain one. And this one's very soothing and calming. They all are meant to be used as a soothing, calming, and hydrating spray. So 
after you put on your skincare, you spray this over your face, sort of like an essence, and do it right before you apply your foundation. And what it does is it hydrates your skin. It locks in the hydration. Glycerin is a main ingredient in this, and glycerin is that great ingredient for just anchoring in hydration. It also has other lovely ingredients in it, but the glycerin, I believe, is what really makes it work. So it holds in all that hydration, sort of locks in your skin care, um, and then when you put your foundation over it, your skin is very hydrated, and foundation just looks best over hydrated skin. So I love to use this before I put on my foundation, and you can also use this to refresh your makeup later in the day. So say I'm going out to dinner tonight and I want to refresh my makeup, I can just spray this on and then maybe add a little powder over it and kind of just um, touch up my makeup for the evening. And it does also work as a setting spray. However, I would suggest using like the Urban Decay All Nighter or um, a real like extra strength setting spray for longevity of your makeup wear. This does help, but I don't really use it for that purpose. I think it's more for refreshing your makeup. And if you have sort of like um, a too powdery makeup look, if you spray a little bit onto your face, it will make everything sort of melt really beautifully into your skin and remove that little... Um, powdery look that can make your skin look older. And so I use it a lot for that too. I also use it whenever I have to wet my foundation brush or wet a makeup brush for eyeshadow or things like that. And another thing I like to use this for is anytime I have a pot product like the paint pots or any kind of pot product, even the Anastasia Brow Pomade, if it's starting to dry out, I'll spray a little Fix Plus Prep and Prime, put the lid on and let it sit, and it softens up the product and makes it more like new again. So it has so many uses, and I think everybody should try this. It's one of those products that once you try it, you'll be like, why haven't I used this sooner? <laughs> so this is my first product from MAC that I'll never be without. And while we're talking about Prep and Prime, another amazing product is the Prep and Prime for lips and I love this product. I love it underneath any lipstick I wear because it's like a balm, but it's not balmy and creamy like a balm, like where it kind of makes your lips a little bit too wet and then your lipstick doesn't sit nicely on top of it. it allows your lipstick to set better on top of it without feathering as much or um, it just sort of locks it into place. And it's better than chapstick or like a chapstick type product because it's not waxy at all. And so it's really beautiful beneath your lipstick and it's also a really beautiful product to use over a matte lipstick or like a liquid matte lipstick. I use this over all matte lipsticks, whether it's from MAC or not. Now, I've never actually purchased this individually. MAC often has promotions on the MAC website or on department store websites where when you purchase a lipstick, this will be a free product, and that's the way I like to get it. I've only used two of these. I went through the first one, and then I saw Macy's had something going on where they had a lipstick with this free, and I purchased the lipstick because it was a color I liked and I got it free again. So I would recommend, it is $20 on its own, but there's so many promotions with this product as like a freebie. So I would watch for that. But once you try it, you're going to really love it and you're not gonna wanna be without it. So it's like one of the products that if I see there's a promotion going on, I will stack up on it. So Prep and Prime for Lips. The next workhorse product for MAC is the MSF, the Mineralized Skin Finish. I said MSF because if you're watching YouTube videos, a lot of women, especially people who have a background as a makeup artist, they refer to it as MSF. And so that stands for Mineralized Skin Finish. I have a couple of my favorites right here, and they are baked products. So they look like this. And this one I use as a face powder, and it doesn't come with a brush, even though it comes with a mirror, but I do have a Real Techniques mini travel brush that I keep in my cosmetics 
cosmetic case when I bring this along with me and it works perfectly. It's a very tiny brush and it gets the job done. And so I like to bring this with me because it is a great setting powder for after you apply all your makeup. It never looks overly powdery. It has like an ambient light kind of finish to it. It's very skin-like, but it gives your skin like a soft focus glow and it also doesn't have a flashback. So if you're going somewhere where photos are going to be taken, this won't, um, you know, you won't get that flashback as you see in Hollywood photos and things like that. So it does kind of protect you from that. And it never looks overly powdery. It always looks fresh. And I feel like it just gives me a very natural skin-like finish while also kind of blotting oil that might break through on my skin, but never looking overly powdery. And I also have the Soft and Gentle that I use as a highlighter. So this one is like a highlighter, and this one is like a face powder. And this one comes in gobs of different shades, and a lot of women use it as a contour as well. So they'll purchase the one that matches their skin tone as a setting powder, but then get some deeper shades for contouring. And that's how they're meant to be used. And I think I'm going to finally try the MSF in a bronzer color, like something for bronzing, because I tend to like cream-based bronzers just because I don't like a lot of powdery products on my 53-year-old skin. But this, like I said, is very skin-like and natural, and so many women love it that I'm going to try that. So if you haven't tried an MSF from MAC, I would really recommend it. So that's my next workhorse product. My next product is a makeup product, but it's also a workhorse product, and it's the MAC Extended Play Perm Me Up Giga Black Mascara. That's a mouthful. And it often comes in sets of two, and it's often on sale on the MAC website or like at Macy's or department stores. And that's when I like to pick it up. They also always have it at the cosmetics company store that you can find at outlet malls, and you'll get a great discount there. I think those stores always have MAC at 40, 60, or 75% off. And it's just like a select products, but this is often included in those sales. So like I said, it is a beautiful workhorse product. And the reason it's a workhorse product is because it is a mascara and it is a tubing mascara, which you know is my favorite type of mascaras. This one is like a carbon black color and it lifts and defines your lashes. It doesn't necessarily add a lot of, of volume, but it is buildable. And another way that you can use this is a bottom lash mascara. So if you have smudging underneath your eye during the day, use this as your bottom lash mascara and it will remedy the problem or use it over your conventional mascaras. So say you love using just a conventional mascara that does smear on you. You can use this over it and it will prevent your mascara from smudging and it won't make your mascara clumpy because it is like a lifting and defining mascara, not volumizing, so it won't change the formula of the mascara you have beneath it. Now, I do have long lashes and kind of oily eyelids, and so if I'm using a conventional mascara, I will just apply this to the tips where my lashes touch and it will prevent it from smudging. And it's just a wonderful product. You will not regret having this in your arsenal and just try it during the summer months because it is heat and humidity resistant. It's sweat proof. Um, it gives you 16 hours of wear and it's a beautiful mascara. Now, is it the best tubing mascara out there? I don't know. It depends on what you're looking for. Like I really like lifting and defining mascaras. So I think it's very, very good. But if you like like the Thrive Liquid Lash Extension or something that really makes those va va voom lashes, then you might not like this on its own as a tubing mascara. You'll like it as the workhorse product that I suggested using it as, or your bottom lash mascara. Definitely give it a try. You won't regret it. Okay, I'm not going to say a lot about these because I talk about these a lot. I use them in nearly every Get Ready With Me, and it is MAC Paint Pots. And Painterly is the nude that you can use as your eyelid primer. 
and it's like undetectable and it will make your eyeshadow last all day. I think we all hear about that one here on YouTube. And if you have more of a yellow tone to your skin, a soft ochre might be the one that you'd like to try just as an eyelid primer. But they also make great eyeshadows and I have so many of them right here. I have Vintage Selection, I have Bare Study, I have Moss, which is like a beautiful green, and I have Bougie, which is an amazing kind of burgundy shade shifter color, and I have Art Thera Peachy, which is a beautiful peachy shade that I've used as a one eyeshadow look. And they are amazing for, like I said, priming your eyelid, or just using it as an eyeshadow or using an accent to your eyeshadow. And the Paint Pot and Painterly works great as a concealer as well. There's so many uses for these. And if you haven't tried them, I'd highly recommend them. I would say try them as an eyelid primer first and then maybe Art Thera Peachy for a one eyeshadow look. Um, because it's a pretty neutral. Bougie and Moss are very bold. And then I like Vintage Selection and Bear Study because Bear Study is sort of like, um, it's a shimmer, but you can use it even as like up here on, in the arch of your brow, or you can use it as a highlighter. It's just so beautiful. And it's sort of just like a champagne color, but then Vintage Selection is a little more pinky peach and it will do the same thing. You can tell I dip in these a lot because I'm getting that little divot. Um, let me just show you, our, I'm just gonna show you these. Art Thera Peachy makes that beautiful peach tone to your eye and you can just use this alone and add some eyeliner and mascara, one and done, and you're out the door. I did do a video, I think, using that in the past. And then Bougie, I found out about from Melissa55, and she loves this shade shifter. It's a burgundy and it shifts to like a green. It's beautiful. And this one's harder to find now. It might have been a limited edition, but it's moss. And if you've ever used MAC Blue Brown loose pigments, this is basically the exact same thing. It's a shade shifter as well. And it's just sort of like um, blue and brown. Even though it's called moss, it comes off blue brown. And in case you haven't seen Stunning Melissa use this on her channel, this one is bougie and it's way more burgundy. And at first I didn't like it. I felt like it made my made me look a little ill with so much burgundy on my eye, but I learned how to use it in a way that's very flattering. And it's just the trick of using the right eyeliner and mascara and, you know, just being and placing it strategically. So they're amazing. You'll never regret MAC paint pots. I've been using them for years and years and they're something I'll always replace. Right, the next workhorse product I wanted to share with you are some nude lipsticks for MAC. And I'm talking about the really light nude lipsticks that you might never purchase because you just might think they're too light or they're not really wearable, but I love them as workhorse products. And I'm gonna tell you what I love about them. So the first one I want to share with you is cream cup and it looks like this and it's just a really nice soft pink not too blue doesn't have any red in it no fuchsia and it's just a really pretty cream pink and I use this one very often and I really like this one for over the MAC lip liners in the pencil form like this. And I have like five of these. These are the three I had on hand right here. And what I like about these is that you can line your lips very easily, really great for lining. They stay put all day long. Um, they're drier. So, you know, there is, they're not like no tug lip liners. There is probably a little tugging involved, but once you get them on, they're not going to budge. And I do like to use them to fill in my lips as well. And then once you do that, you can use like cream cup over it. Today, I have Dervish lip liner, which is like a mauve and cream cup over it. And that's my lip combo for the day. 
And then the next one is brand new. I just back to MAC this color and needed to replenish it. So it's a new one. And this one is Myth. And Myth looks like this. And this one is gorgeous over MAC Spice Lip Liner. Very different than Cream Cop. A little more peachy. And I did just back to MAC bosom friend and picked up a new one and bosom friend i would never wear on its own it's kind of like um i don't know all those lipsticks that everyone loves like charlotte tilbury kim kw or some of those really nude colors that some women can pull off especially if they have a deeper skin tone but um they make me look like i put concealer on my lips but i'll tell you what i like this one for and this is bosom friend and it's very, very light. You saw how much I put on, and it's much lighter than Cream Cup. It's just a very soft pink, and what I like to use this one for is if I'm using particularly my MAC lipsticks, but they'll work with any lipstick. So I really like MAC Please Me, which is a matte, and it's a pink. And I think I have it. Hang on. So this is MAC Please Me. It's beautiful on its own, but on me, it can come off a little bright because I'm so fair. And that's what it looks so like. It's a matte formulation. And I like to add like something creamy over it. So I would take Bosom Friend or Myth and apply it over my please me. And now, I don't know, it sort of mutes it down. This sort of has the effect that like a lot of women like to use white Russian gloss from Buxom. I do too, to kind of lighten up their darker products. But this is in a, like a lipstick form and it's cream. So you're not wearing a gloss. So I really like it for that. It makes my darker lipsticks more wearable, whether it's a liquid lipstick matte or a darker matte lipstick. Those three colors just work really well for muting them down. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit like. Please share with us any workhorse products that you have from MAC or any products that you might be interested in trying. And um, yeah, I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day and I'll see you next time.